it's a uh, it's a, called a green wave generator. Its purpose is to convert wave energy into electricity. And uh, the reason it's called a green wave is because it has no carbon footprint in generating that electricity. It ended up here because it's on its journey to Port Macdonald, the buoyancy as part of the transportation began to fail. So they placed it in a location which uh, wasn't too deep and also out of navigational uh, path of large ships. Now, the key issues with this structure being here and so close to the beach uh, is uh, public safety and navigational safety. Our key, our key aim and responsibility is to make sure both of those things uh, are acceptable. So what we're doing is getting an isolated danger mark on top of the structure. And the other thing we're going to do is um, get some larger yellow boys around the structure with signage. Uh, so that people are aware it's a prohibited area to enter. And it's been made prohibited under the Marine Parks Act, where a prohibited zone is around the structure. The structure itself is basically concrete underneath that's compartmentized to, to uh, generate a uh, vortex uh, for a tur turbine on the top to generate electricity. The unfortunate thing is it also tends to entrap people if they dive into that structure so we want to keep people away. We also want to keep boats away from it because the submerged parts of the structure, mainly concrete, just below the surface. And depending on the weather and the sea state, it's hard to see. So we don't want anybody actually hitting the structure. So the aim is to uh, have that in place within the next uh, month or two, and then from there, look at uh, what the salvage options are. And so we're engaged with the receiver the managers to discuss that through. We're engaged with local government, uh, that is the Yankalilla Council, to make sure the community are informed and know what's going on and we listen to their views.